Handa na ba ang NU Pep Squad sa challenge ng anim pa na UAAP cheer dance teams? At makakausap natin ngayong gabi sina Amanda Alejandrino at Coach Jika Bernabe ng NU Pep Squad. So girls, Coach yes. uh, Amanda, welcome to the score. But Coach, I'll, I'll, mapupunta muna kay Tano. Siyempre, three-peat Anton, di ba? Mm -hmm. That's napakahirap gawin nun. I isa nga lang, napakahirap na mag-back-to-back, tas three-peat pa. Ngayon na, you're going on your fourth uh, championship, Coach Jika. Ano ba ang preparations ang ginawa ninyo since day one? Um, actually, every year talaga, sobrang pabigat ng pabigat yung practice. Kung nagda-double time kami for the past uh, years, this time, like 10 times kami nag-work hard for this uh, competition. Kasi sabi mo nga, hindi siya ganun kadali. Correct. Para kami, it's a long process talaga. Wala namang instant eh. Hindi naman kami, kami magiging 3P champion kung hindi rin kami dumaan sa mahabang process. And this time, mas mahaba, mas masikip, mas komplikadong proseso. And uh, we are very... Uh, Nacho challenge talaga kami this year kasi yung trip it tapos na yun eh. Uh -huh. It's another uh, story na. So this year talaga ito yung parang isa sa mga winning moment namin kung magka-forfeit kami this season. At syempre kasama rin natin ang cheer dance captain ng NU Pep Squad na si Amanda. Amanda, you were telling me earlier that this could possibly be your last year mm -hmm. bilang bahagi ng NU Pep Squad. So, how is the preparation of the team? How is the team coming into the competition tomorrow? And ikaw bilang isang team captain, ano yung gusto mong iiwan legacy sa NU Pep Squad? Well, um, the team now are more confident. We actually finished the routine around September, then we've been doing a lot of polishing. But it's hard to get everybody together because there's 25 of us and everybody has like a different work ethic. Mm -hmm. So as captain, it was kind of hard for me because you're also emotionally invested in your team. Yeah. You're like, you want to be nice to everybody, but you have to get the job done. Mm -hmm. So we've had to work a lot on that part because mm -hmm. Skills-wise and um, choreography-wise, that's coach's job, and they've done an incredible job with that. Mm -hmm. But with us, it's really about working together. Mm -hmm. And as captain and um, as a senior, all the seniors really want to leave this yes. legacy to mm -hmm. the to the coming batches because USD has five championships in a row. They've made the most five P, mm -hmm. and we really believe that we can do six P. Mm -hmm. And that we're looking we're looking at that as seniors. Mm -hmm as seniors. So, we have to take the four feet first. Okay. So, that's what we want to do. Alam mo, Anton, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, nabanggit sa rin ni Coach Jika kanina na they have um, eight holdovers and yeah. 13 rookies. Yeah. Tama ba? So, yes. Amanda, um, being on your third year and graduating ka na nga, how did you use your experience you know, to motivate or to mentor the newer uh, members of your squad? It was hard. Yeah. It was hard. <laughs> um, especially because there's eight of us and there's yeah. 13 newer uh, ones. But the eight are are really, really good at motivating. And again, as we said, we're like a family already. We're emotionally invested in them. Mm -hmm. We want them to be better, not just as cheerleaders, but as, you know, students, as mm -hmm. athletes. We want them to grow. Mm -hmm. So um, we treat the competition as um, it's time for them to show their character mm -hmm. because skills Skills wise, we know they're really good. They're really good. They're even better than us. But it's the character that has to show on the. On, tomorrow! Yes! Yeah. Tomorrow! <laughs> yes. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is the tomorrow day! Is the day. So, yeah, that's what we've been helping them with. Right. Really just believing in themselves. Ngayon, coach, siempre, dahil kayo nga yung three time champions, marami ang nag-iisip ngayon. Ano kaya ang ilalabas ng NU Pep Squad bukas sa cheer dance competition? And it's also interesting, Migs, yes. kasi sila yung huli oh. na mag-perform. Yes. At merong teaser na lumabas. Nakita ko yung post ni uh, JJ Alejandro oh. ng NU Basketball Team. Si JJ Pogi! Oo, oh, oh. si JJ Pogi. <laughs> oh. Meron siyang pinos na initializing full power on, tapos may parang kidlat. Okay. Tapos may, may yes. parang yung tao sa artificial mm -hmm. intelligence. Mm -hmm. na Can you give us uh, a little something, kung, kung pwede, Coach Jika, ano ba may expect natin sa tema ng NU Pep Squad bukas? Um, last year kasi, nandun kami sa caveman, parang prehistor mm. uh, prehistoric era. So, from dun sa old na human, this time, mag-jump kami into a very, like, a futuristic. Ah, so, sobrang yes. different yung last year's performance for mm. uh, this season. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Coach Jika, two, que two part question. Ever since the last year, yung nag champion kayo, so when kayo unang nag training ulit? Um, actually, right after the championship last year, gu alam mo yung parang gumagana Medyo. na yung utak mo na parang anong gagawin namin next Prepare. year. Uh -huh. Since uh, kami 
daw, yun nag-set ng standard. Okay. So, ito yung challenge namin ngayon, na ibit yes. yung sarili namin standard. Uh -huh. So, nag-start kami ulit mag-practice, like siguro uh, two, two weeks break. Okay. And then nag-start kami for the NCC competition. Okay. And then, ah. hindi kasi siya nagsa-stop dun eh. Mm -hmm. After ng NCC, diretso kami ng summer for UAAP. Mm -hmm. So, it's really a non-stop practice. Has it been smooth sailing in terms of health? Health-wise, injuries, meron bang mga di pinapalad or more or less ba yung mga, mga bata mo eh, good to go ever since nung after your two-week break? Oh, of course, yung injuries, yung accidents, normal na yun. Okay. So, yun yung bagay na ang hirap iwasan but we are really trying our best to prevent that yes. accidents. Mm -hmm. Pero since parang part na siya eh, yung mga bruises, mm -hmm. parang normal na sa kanila, naka-pain sa body nila. Yes. And, ang ginagawa namin ngayon, since uh, meron kaming uh, PT on okay. the side, meron kaming conditioning coach, meron kaming nutritionist, when it comes to the health ng mm -hmm. kids, hindi normal sa, uh, hindi sila yung nagkakasakit ng normal. Okay. Like mga normal na lagnat or something. Uh -huh. Pero yung mga injuries, compared dun sa mga previous years, mas madaming na i-injure before. Pero okay. ngayon, nalilesen na. Like siguro sobrang like once a month na lang yung okay. talagang may major injury. Pero this time, hindi na namin siya na-encounter. And I think everyone is really aware kung ano yung mga dapat gawin. Mm -hmm. Proper technique and uh, everyone is really alert kung ano mm -hmm. yung mga dapat uh, gawin during the routine. So one of the storylines, Coach Amanda, coming into tomorrow is, syempre, may, may kulang. May kulang na kuponan. Mm -hmm. Ang UP, which is uh, the last champion, uh, mm -hmm. not named NU dito sa competition na ito, is not participating in tomorrow's competition. Now, ano yung initial reaction nyo nung nalaman nyo na nag-withdraw itong UP sa competition? Why? So that's the first question. Parang, bakit? Ba't sila nag-withdraw dun sa competition? Kasi UAAP, eight schools yan eh. Uh, Parang it's not complete if it's not eight. And maybe siguro yung pumasok na lang sa isip namin as a coach, hindi naman siguro magde-decide yung coach. As a coach, ah, I will decide for my team or everyone. It's a mutual understanding. Kung baga, na one decision lang na makabuti para sa team. So maybe the coach yes. did the best for the team. Yes. So yun lang siguro yung sabi ko. Well, to follow up with that question, with Anton's question, Amanda, for you as uh, the captain, has that, uh, anong klaseng motivation ang binigay nun sa'yo? How did that affect you? How did that affect your teammates? Or did it affect you guys in any way? Um, well, everyone's aware of it on my yeah, team, but yeah. we find motivation through other things. And okay. that's um, beating, because they're not, they're, they chose to not be part of the competition. Mm. So it's our time to, it's our competition. Correct. The seven schools are still there. Mm. And I want them to focus on that. That's what we have to focus on. Mm. Like if they if they choose not to compete then we respect that. But there's seven of us and the six other schools are worthy competitors and we're going to do our best to mm. beat the champions from last year mm. and make our school proud and that's where our motivation comes from. So you've reached the top <laughs> of the mountain three times mm -hmm. and it's a different story I'm sure every year. Yeah. So from those three times now umakyat kayo sa tuntok, sa tuktok ng uh, bundok ng UAP cheer dance competition. Ano yung pinaka-importanting lesson at learning mm. na natutunan nyo na dadalhin nyo coming into tomorrow's competition? Mm. Um, never stop. Kasi every time na nanalo kami, hindi yun yung final, hindi yun yung ending namin. So every time na nanalo kami, ibig sabihin lang noon, meron pa kami yung mga kaya beyond that. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung lagi namin sinasabi sa members namin. So, huwag kayong maging makampante kung anong meron tayo ngayon. Kasi hindi ito yung tapos na yung competition. Like, lagi namin sinasabi, hindi na kayo champions. Yun yun, hindi kami nagsasabi sa kanila na parang, after nung tripit, dadali namin ng buong taon. No, after that competition, the next season is a different story. Hindi na kayo champions. So, you have to beat the champions last year. So, How about you, Amanda? Do you have a different perspective? Because it's simply perspective the coach. Mm. How about you, from a uh, captain's uh, perspective? What's um, the number one thing? Well, it's similar. We actually have a tagline at mm -hmm. um, our team: "It's stay humble, stay hungry, and stay focused." Humble, hungry, and focused. Yeah. Humble, hungry, and focused. Okay. All right. Well, Coach Amanda, kindly invite all the NU supporters to support you guys, cheer you on. Make noise on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Nakita ko meron kayong mga hashtags dito oh. eh. Kasi bukas na. So kailangan, <laughs> madaliin nyo yung mga any supporters. Go ahead, go, go ahead. Um, I'd like to really thank the squadron, everybody from NSNU, 
the drummers. Thank you so much for being there for the athletics department, for all of our teachers, our managers, Coach Gavi, Coach Carl, Coach Jess, Coach Neil, Coach Glenn, and Coach Nikki. Thank you so much to everybody at NU. Please support us. We know um, we know you'll be there for us. Please play with us for safety. And um, our hashtag is move forward and go for gold. Okay, I would like to thank our uh, manager, of course, Mr. Gao, Sir Pachola Chunsim, for the very uh, very supportive and ending support to our team. And of course, the NU community na lagi silang nandyan, whatever happens. And um, sa family namin like, serve as our inspiration. So we are very thankful to, uh, to our believers. So yun lang. Thank you so much. Well, Coach Gika, Amanda, good luck and see you tomorrow at the competition. Thank you. Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.